How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donahue here again. This time we're going to take a look at some simple types of chemical reactions. So our objectives will be to describe and classify reactions as combination, decomposition, or combustion reactions. Those are the only three we're going to look at right here. All right, so there are a number of different ways we can classify reactions. We're only going to be looking at three of them, combination, decomposition, and combustion. So if we take a look and we start with combination reactions, the generic formula is A plus B gives me a compound where those two things are combined, A and B, right? So two or more substances are going to react to create a single substance. It's sometimes also called like synthesis, excuse me, synthesis, because we're making one new thing. So an example would be like magnesium reacting with oxygen is going to give me magnesium oxide. Sodium and chlorine reacting to give me sodium chloride. We have two different substances reacting to give us one new substance. So that's going to be a combination reaction. One of my favorite reactions is a combination reaction, and it's that magnesium uh, reacting with oxygen. Basically, you just set it on fire, kind of. You know, you just heat it up. So you'll see in this video, I heat up some magnesium ribbon until it gets hot enough that it can react with the oxygen that's in the air and it burns a really, really bright white. So if you've ever gone camping and they have like fire starters and it's metal, it, chances are it's magnesium. It will uh, react with oxygen, combine with it to give you magnesium oxide. And if at the end when the, the kind of bright light goes away, you can see now it's a white color. That's the magnesium oxide. It's no longer just magnesium. It combined with the oxygen. It's kind of like a rust, but magnesium. Decomposition reactions are the opposite. So you start with one thing, and then it breaks apart into two new things, or more than two things. So you just have one substance breaking down into multiple substances. So an example would be like calcium carbonate. You can heat that up, and it'll break apart and give off carbon dioxide gas, leaving behind carb or calcium oxide. Or a pretty common one to demo is hydrogen peroxide will break down to give off oxygen. And it's essentially the opposite of combination reaction. So I have a video here where that is going to happen. Oh, that's the wrong button. Boop. So here I have some uh, hydrogen peroxide and I have some manganese dioxide and it's a catalyst. It's not reacting. It's just helping the hydrogen peroxide break down because hydrogen peroxide will break down on its own, but it's pretty slow over time and you won't notice it. So I added some soap in with the hydrogen peroxide. So when I pour it into the catalyst, it'll bubble and it'll catch that air it's producing in little bubbles. So you can see where is all that gas coming from? It's coming from the hydrogen peroxide that is now decomposing into water and oxygen. And it's kind of satisfying to watch. So yeah, hope you liked that video. Then combustion reactions. The generic formula for combustion reactions is you have some sort of carbohydrate, or I'm sorry, hydrocarbon, said that backwards. You start with a fuel that typically has carbon, hydrogen, and possibly oxygen. You react it with atmosphere oxygen or oxygen in general, and you always make carbon dioxide and water. It may seem kind of counterintuitive that you're making water with combustion, but if you ever watch a car run on a cold day, you can see the fog coming off of the, the tailpipe. That's water vapor, right? So whenever you burn something, you're making water vapor. So it's hydrocarbons reacting with oxygen. Carbon, carbon dioxide and water are always products. And heat is given off. All right, so there doesn't need to be a flame. Like if you've ever been around a campfire and you've seen the coals, the coals are combusting even though there isn't a flame. So don't get confused that... You know, if you see a flame, it's combustion, but just because there isn't a flame doesn't mean it's not combustion. So here's a fun demo. Don't do this at home. But inside I have uh, alcohol inside of that bottle, which is one of those CHO compounds. And then there's also air and I drop in the match in the top. And what's really cool, that pulsing, is because as it's burning, it's releasing gases and it's really hot. So it pushes air out of the bottle but then as it cools it pulls in fresh oxygen and it's able to keep that kind of cycling going all right so check yourself you know try try setting this up in your notebook and see if you can 
categorize all of these things into the appropriate places and then I'll go over, pause it, I dare you, you won't. All right, so I'm just gonna call this one, two, and three because nobody wants to see me rewrite everything. So this first one, A plus B gives me AB, is a combination reaction. So that's gonna go in that first box. A and B breaking down into A plus B is a decomposition reaction. So it's gonna go in that second box. This third looking thing is combustion, right? We have some compound reacting with oxygen, giving me carbon dioxide and water. So that's combustion. Which one of these things start with multiple pieces and end up with one bigger piece? That's gonna be combination reactions. Start with a big piece and it gets broken down, decomposition reactions. Opposite of combination, well, that's decomposition. Opposite of decompos decomposition is combination. Presence of oxygen, well, that's gotta be combustion. And carbon dioxide and water are made, also combustion. So yeah, summarize, can you describe and classify reactions as combination, decomposition, or combustion reactions? I hope so. Goodbye. Okay,